my hopelessness sometimes. I put right. my joy aside. Right. Right. But that's that's wrong. That's not for me to do. So this is Yeah, man, you're right. And this this is what I'm what I'm thinking about probably just because what's what's on my mind presently. But the sure. it's really easy to talk about peace when things are easy. Oh, but to, yeah, but test me right now. No, no, no. That's <laughs> that's exactly where I'm kind of going with you. Because we had a conversation um, maybe a month ago-ish. Mm -hmm. And so the reason I'm being slow about this is to give you the opportunity to stop me if you want to stop me. No, you're good. Because we had a conversation uh, w where you were kind of saying, like, how? Yeah, right? totally. I mean, I'm stuck, right? Yeah. How? How? Um, that's where I get stuck, by the way, the how. I know. And that's why I'm using <laughs> it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's a situation of um, it doesn't look like there's any good future futures that can come out of the situation that I'm in. Mm. And so, how do I have peace when every aspect of the future seems bad? Right. Right. Um, you know. And so you're thinking about your kids. You're thinking about mm -hmm. um, your, your family, people who you love. You're thinking about you know somebody's got a, a disease. Somebody's you know um, and how do you have peace when all the futures seem bad? See, now this is this is where it goes back to, and I appreciate you saying that. Um, maybe you've heard me say this before, friends, and so tell me if you've heard this, but God's all is way bigger and all-encompassing and different than my all. Yep. And so we were just, you just said, in my view, all the potential outcomes were yeah. pretty junky. Right. Well, yeah, but that's my limited, Correct. slightly skewed to, towards hopelessness yeah. and negativity view. Yeah. Right? So if that's true, then all is much more vast right. in God's perspective. And he can do things that I can't, not only can I not do, but I can't even fathom or right. understand. Right. Right. So that kind of all right. changes the dynamics of everything. Right. Yeah. And that's this is it's important because because yeah, because we, sin is really powerful and if we if we start acting like things don't get as bad as they get. Right, mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to get too too you know o overly negative, but it is difficult when you have or let's say a loved one who's passed away mm -hmm. and and isn't Christian, wasn't Christian. I mean that's yeah right, and then but it's it's there are things that that we struggle with that we want to be honest about because God still grants peace in those situations for sure right, um, and and there is a spot I think to leave space. For how good God is, and and what we don't know. Thank you. You know, that's I think an area where I where I struggle. And I'll, I'll maybe use this as an example, and, and I do want to let y'all be able to check. When I was in, looking at me, kick my this my is killing me. Oh, <laughs> 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 the suspense is killing. Oh, the suspense. The, no, Bro, this is we didn't get to hear. Elvin. <laughs> Wait, was did I interrupt something that you're there waiting for? Did I? Was I saying something? I think it's there. It was in me. You were frozen. <laughs> you froze. <laughs> oh, hold on. I need to switch internet. You were like, you were like waiting for it. Like the, <laughs> the starter was, but I was waiting like. <laughs> I got one sec. You might lose me for just a sec. We build the suspense here at Webster Gardens. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Could you let Debbie in from the waiting room? Oh, thank you. Yes, I can. Thank you. Absolutely. So the um, one of the one of the challenges or one of the growth areas that I had in this was with people who who um, died and didn't know Jesus. And so there were, you know, when you think about people who are across the world, right? How do I kind of have this peace um, when people or, or peace with God maybe? when people are dying and they don't know Jesus and, uh, you know, kind of being told that they go to hell, right? Which, which is entirely possible. Uh, and, and, um, there became a, 
a little bit of an awareness to me that if the way that my mind would work a little bit is to say, if, if they go to hell, then God's not very good. Right. And I had to kind of change this in my mind to, if God is good and powerful, which the Bible claims that he is, and I certainly believe that he is, then he's doing the right thing. He's not just. Him. And it, yeah. And he's doing the right thing. He's doing the good, God, the good godly thing. And instead of, and switching that as my lens to mm-hmm. things where now I kind of say, um, that's the way that he handles every situation all the time, all over the world. Mm-hmm. That helps a, a little bit with my peace, even when I'm not sure about the futures. and I'm not sure, and I can see that bad things are happening, right? Yeah. He's still doing the good, right thing. And he is. he is in control of things. Right. And so so that so I don't have any idea how you know um how things are gonna turn out. And even from what I can perceive of how something turned out, it might have come off come out come come out as bad. But uh but I don't know the whole story. Okay, I, so I don't know everything that he's that, doing. Right there. That so we don't know the whole story, we don't know everything that he's doing. You know, I talk, I've, I've talked to musicians this way before when I talk about orchestrating stuff. Um, he is able to do that well beyond what I even understand about formation. Right. Well beyond. Right. And I use the word orchestrating because that's, you know, we even take, as musicians, we take a class about orchestration. Like, this is how these things work together and this is how you put them together. Right, whether it's a symphony or a rock band or whatever, these things go together in a certain way, and there's kind of rules about it, and there's kind of um, you know considerations that you want to know about right. when you're trying to do it. Right. Well, he understands all the possibilities and considerations yeah. beyond that. Right. Right. So, yeah, he's absolutely in charge. Right. Absolutely, like he's sovereign, completely. Right. I think it's it becomes really valuable, and, and I'll share this, and then you share, and we'll let them swing off and talk. Mm-hmm. But it's really meaningful to me to embrace how bad it gets, because mm-hmm. well, I would I would hear you know, and I've shared this before, but I would hear when we go on mission trips and things like that, uh, people say things, something like we're going to be okay, right? Because God's with us on this. Mm-hmm. And and while I agree, I don't I don't agree I don't I wouldn't agree if you said hey we're going to come back alive because God is with us on this um, because that's not a guarantee we will be okay right we will not right. you know go to you know be, be eternally punished right we have Christ with us but we might die right um, that's possible and I think that when you belittle the how bad it can get then you kind of take away from how good and powerful God is. It, yeah. You know? And so I like to, although it's not fun, kind of look and say, like, no, it gets, it can get bad. And that's why this piece is all the more important to pursue and valuable. Oh, your internet connection's unstable. Probably frozen. Uh, probably not very stable. <laughs> probably not very stable. <laughs> but I think that's, 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 because a lot of times when things aren't that bad, I kind of pretend like I have God's peace, but I'm really just distracting myself. Um, and so I'm, I'm content, I'm happy, but I'm not like pursuing God's peace. Yeah. And there's a value to pursuing God's peace because when things do get really tough, you're going to need some God's peace. You can ask for it, but I want, I want, to, I want to briefly say sure. that um, much with all of the fruits of the Spirit. You can ask for the fruits of the Spirit, but God is going to re-engage you and re-invite you to having the Spirit. Yeah. Right. Right. Which isn't I, I to completely say... completely agree with you. Yeah, and it's not to say that, like, through baptism, we talked about this, through baptism, you you receive the Spirit of God. Right. Okay. So, yes and amen. However, I have I received... I have this phone... I received that. This is an old one, but I have received it. 
I can use it or not. Right. Right. Okay? I can access things on it or not. And you know, yeah, God's that's really the spirit point. is much more mysterious than that. But right, good point though. If I want to call Zach Teasdale, I can do it, or I can just stare at my phone and wish that Zach would call me. <laughs> They're very good, right? Point. Yeah. So access the spirit, invite God, and all you can do. This is all we can do. Ask. Right. That's all we can do. God gives the way that He wants to give. Right. He doesn't give back. So ask. That's the position. Okay, that was good. And 